It's so easy to stick to the same old way of doing things because we can do it without even really thinking what we're doing. Dietitian Mayuri Bowen, on the other hand, has a far more conscious approach, especially when it comes to food, and this has led her to study nutrition in detail. She's also passionate about a plant-based diet, so I went to see her to find out more about the hows and whys. The ideal diet has been a topic of debate since the days of ancient India, but it was only in the 19th century that nutrition came to be the subject of scientific investigation. An entire industry has developed since then, but even the experts seem unable to decide on what makes the perfect meal. The health industry boggles my mind to the point of vertigo. Every week, new research and diets come out saying that last week's menu is not only bad for you, but is probably detrimental to your health. With all this contradictory information floating around, I wanted to get the long and short of healthy eating, so I got in touch with dietitian Mei Bawan to get the inside scoop. Mei! Hi, Zaki! You mm, are a very brave woman for agreeing to train with me. I know. I'm going to see if I can keep up with your face. Warm up on the yeah. back. All right, let's do this. May, where does your story begin? I'm actually from Worcester, which is a very small town outside Cape Town. Grew up there, my family's still there, and started in Cape Town and eventually did my community service in Kimberley. From there, moved up to Johannesburg, and the year after, I decided to open my practice. May, what fueled your passion for food? My father had a heart attack, and from then, it really just made me really just try to want to understand why are we leading such an unhealthy lifestyle and how do we correct this? What is your food philosophy? Less processed foods, less packaged foods and really just nourishing your body with good food and really making sure that we're not necessarily depriving ourselves from things because I think with, with a lot of people they think with any diet or any way of eating it's always having to cut out some sort of food group and it really isn't really the case, it's really just about eating healthily and making sure you have a good relationship with food. I've heard that you cannot out-train a poor diet and that it's 70% about what you eat and 30% exercise. Is that true? Yes, that is true. It still goes down to food, what you're taking in. So as much as you can burn as much calories here in the gym, it's really going down to the basic foundation of what are you putting in and how you're fueling your body. Okay, we're starting on a medium resistance. Mm -hmm. 20 seconds chilled and then we're taking it up. Okay, resistance up and out the saddle. All right. Gee, Zach, I think we're working up a sweat here. I'd like to hope so. It's time to hit the floor. Don't we get a five minute break? No. Oh, oh gosh, you're mean. <laughs> okay, single arms, yes. Nice pace, nice pace, fight it, mate. Don't slow down. Oh. <laughs> down, down, down. Okay, kettlebell yes. swings, are you familiar? Yes. Good. That's one. Woo! Well done. Yay. I am famished after oh, that. Please can I go get something to eat? I love you. Mayuri grew up in a home that remained true to Indian culinary traditions. But as she became more aware of nutrition, she realized that old school methods of cooking were not always the healthiest. She studied dietetics as a way of learning more about the food that lies behind her culture and has focused on developing a plant-based diet that satisfies ethical and nutritional requirements. Mayuri is adamant that the avoidance of animal protein will not result in dietary deficiencies, but she also believes in treating each patient as an individual. May, for you, what is the long and short of weight loss? Fiber, water, portion control, exercise, an 80-20% rule. So treats only twice a week. That's it. What are your diet no-nos? My diet no-nos is not to weigh yourself every day because I think people get a little bit obsessed with weight loss and having to weigh. If you are going to do it, only doing it once a week at the same time. Why, in your opinion, do diets fail? Because it's a diet and it's short-lived and it's not a lifestyle and it's so restrictive. A lot of people cut out a lot of food groups and that's not really supposed to be. Okay, I have to know, are carbs bad for you? Carbs are your friend. I think carbs have had such a bad rap in the last two years and it really is just going back to the quality of carbs that we're taking and really it's the refined carbs that is really an issue and refined carbs meaning 
flowery foods. What is the story with fat? Again, you do need to start looking at the quality of fat and the quantity of what you're taking in. So we get different fats, obviously, which is your saturated fat, which is animal-based products, which is your butter, your dairy products. And then you get your monounsaturated fats and polyunsaturated fats, which are your nuts and your seeds and your olives and your avocado. And that's what we want to try and increase more in our diet. And then you get your omega-3s, which are more fatty fish oils, which is your sardines and your salmon and your mackerel and your trout. Now, if you're vegetarian or vegan, you might not be able to get in your omega-3s from fatty fish. And the alternative that what you can use is an algae supplement. There is a huge shift towards a more conscious way of eating. How can one reduce their environmental impact on the earth? Two other things that you should be looking at cutting out is dairy and red meat and introducing more plant-based into your diet. And if you are going to be doing any dairy alternatives, make sure that they are fortified. There are so many diet crazes out there on social media, the internet, in different books. How do you stay focused when you're trying to lose weight? Everyone is unique and different. And I think at the end of the day, people need to realize having to see a healthcare practitioner is really important to understand your needs and what you're wanting to achieve in the process if it is weight loss or weight maintenance or weight gain. May, thank you so much for such an informative day. Thank you so much for having me. I had such a fun time. Thank you. Let's tuck in. So delicious. Mm.